The CO2 Jir Falcon from Falcon Pro Solutions is a high performance dry ice blasting machine built to handle the toughest cleaning applications. Dry ice blasting is a process where dry ice pellets are accelerated in a pressurized airstream to clean or prepare a surface. Through sublimation, the CO2 pellets instantly change from a solid to a gas when striking a surface at a high velocity, creating tiny explosions to clean a surface without causing damage. Since it leaves behind no secondary residue, dry ice blasting has become one of the most efficient and environmentally friendly methods to clean in an industrial or domestic environment. When operating the Jir Falcon Dry Ice Blaster, it is important that all safety precautions are followed to avoid any potential injury to the operator as well as any bystanders near the work area. It is critical that anyone operating the machine first read the operation manual before attempting to set up or operate the machine. Wearing the proper personal protection during operation is mandatory. Insulated gloves should be worn at all times when operating the machine or handling dry ice. At minus 109 degrees Fahrenheit, Dry ice can quickly cause frostbite if handled without insulated gloves. Eye protection must be worn while operating the machine. At minimum, safety glasses are required. Dry ice blasting produces a high level of noise. Therefore, hearing protection must be worn at all times when operating the machine or near the work area. Earplugs rated at 32 NRR or higher are required. Both earmuffs and earplugs are highly recommended. Always wear pants and heavy-duty work boots. Never wear sandals or tennis shoes when operating the machine or near the work area. After following all necessary safety precautions, you are now ready to set up and operate the CO2 Jir Falcon. First, connect the power to a standard 110 volt power supply. Connect the control cable and the blasting hose to the front of the machine. Firmly tighten both. Connect the blasting hose and control cable to the gun, along with the proper nozzle for your application. You may need to experiment with different nozzles to find the best one for your project. Connect the air compressor to the air inlet on the aftercooler. The air compressor should be able to supply at least 200 CFM of air for optimum cleaning results. Connect the air supply hose from the aftercooler to the air inlet on the Jir Falcon. Be sure to also attach the whip check to the hose as an added safety precaution. Tighten the connection securely with a wrench. Before pressurizing the machine, let's take a look at the controls and some of the features of the Jir Falcon Dry Ice Blaster. The on-off switch enables the blasting gun and the feeding of dry ice pellets. The pellet feed rate knob adjusts the quantity of pellets the rotor feeds to the blasting gun. This can be fine-tuned based on your application. The black dial on the far right adjusts the air pressure, which will also vary based on your application. In case of emergency, hit the big red emergency stop button to immediately deactivate the machine. On the back of the machine is an integrated moisture filter. This will automatically drain water on occasion, especially in conditions with a high level of humidity. The patent pending spun stainless steel hopper is designed to provide a consistent flow of dry ice pellets without clogging up. Always keep the protective grate in place when filling the hopper with dry ice. To operate the blasting gun, press down on the safety lever and pull back the trigger. A button on the back of the handle allows you to switch between blasting dry ice or only air. The trigger also activates the built-in LED light. It is now safe to pressurize the machine. Activate the two air valves on the aftercooler to turn on the air supply from the air compressor. Start your compressor to pressurize the system. First test the blasting gun by blasting only air. This also clears out any moisture that may be in the lines. Fill the hopper with dry ice pellets. It is important to always use fresh, clean dry ice pellets. Dry ice pellets will only be usable for a few days depending on the environmental conditions. After filling the hopper, always close the lid. Do not overfill the hopper to a point where the lid will not close completely. On the front of the machine near the blasting hose connection is a static ground cable. Connect the static ground cable to the work area prior to blasting to reduce the risk of static electric shock. You are now ready to begin dry ice blasting. The air pressure and pellet feed rate will need to be adjusted based on your cleaning application. It is recommended that you perform a test cleaning to optimize the control settings before moving forward with your project. In this example, surface rust is swiftly blasted away to prepare a metal surface for painting. This is just one of many common applications for dry ice blasting.
When you are finished blasting, hold down the trigger to clear any remaining dry ice pellets from the hopper. This will help prevent excessive moisture buildup in the hose so the machine is ready to tackle the next cleaning project. For more information on a CO2 Gear Falcon in dry ice blasting, visit the Falcon Pro Solutions website at www.efalcon-inc.com.